the MV Commercial British Truck Racing Association Championship 2019. Hello and a very warm welcome to Brands Hatch for sadly the final event of the 2019 MV Commercial British Truck Racing Association Championship. Luke Garrett wrapped up Division 2 last time out at Pembrey. We've still got a four-man fight for second position in that class. Division 1, still everything to play for. Ryan Smith though in the box seat ahead of Dave Jenkins. In qualifying Ryan Smith setting out what he needs to do here. Pole position ahead of Stuart Oliver and Jamie Anderson. Simon Reid next up from David Jenkins who starts fifth. In Division 2, the battle for second place in the championship. Looks like it might be heading towards Steve Power. He's on pole from John Bowler. Champion Lou Garrett and had a big in fourth. Pretty uh, difficult conditions out there today. How was qualifying? It, was, it wasn't too bad to start off with, so we went out early. Um, I think we got the, the fastest lap on the third lap and then it gradually got worse and worse, but we were spot consistent in the ones well, so very pleased we've done it, yeah, so. Yeah, we just, uh, we were here yesterday, it was just slippy yesterday, as opposed to the complete monsoon that we just had then. If it's the same in the race, we're gonna have to go radical with the setup. The championship is mathematically still very possible for us. Realistically, we're gonna need Ryan to make a big mistake for us to close up on him. So we've just got to do our own thing, take each race as it comes and watch what unfolds around us. The opening two races of the weekend saw the trucks take to a very wet and slippery track indeed. Steve Powell making the most of pole position on his home circuit to head home the champion Luke Garrett with John Bowler in third. Now staking the claim for second in the championship. In Division 1, Ryan Smith again made no mistakes from pole position. That's the pattern he's been doing all year. Jamie Anderson came through for second and David Jenkins from sixth on the grid up into third. Well, this is the restart of our second Division 2 race. Having lost Simon Cole, it's another super start by Steve Powell. And look at Adam Bint having a flyer as well. Binty to the outside line, but it's Steve Powell who leads them down through Paddock towards Halewoods for the first time. Luke Garrett second, Paul Rivet is in third position. So sad to have lost Simon Cole in the Mercedes Beast from this one. But after race one, an intriguing points situation. Luke Garrett obviously confirmed as champion at Pembrey. Steve Powell second in the championship. He moves on to 309 points after race one. Joint third now by my mass, 300 points apiece, John Bowler and Paul Rivette. So all to play for for second, third, and indeed fourth place. Brad Smith is on 298. He's only another two points behind Riv and Bowler, who are there in shot together. John Bowler the chaser at the moment, but it's the Taco Sis machine that has the advantage for third place in the championship. And of course, we'll be looking over the remaining two races after this one this weekend to close down on Steve Powell. But Steve Powell has really served up notice of intent at the moment with a race win and uh, the race leading this one as well. And it doesn't matter whether you throw him a reverse grid race or fastest off the front, he's really getting some form when it counts. He'll be a little bit gutted that the form didn't come perhaps a little bit earlier to rein in Luke Garrett a little bit more. Garrett running in second place at the moment. Now the various delays have meant that the light is beginning to fade here as you can see. The lights on all of our trucks it makes uh, adds to the spectacle to be absolutely fair. It's been a miserable day. It's got darker earlier because of the wet conditions, extremely overcast. Graham Powell challenging Eric Forsham there. Good to see Graham back with us racing again. Here comes the battle for third in the championship. Remember, the, realistically, that battle is a four-way battle for second in the championship, but Steve Powell got the upper hand at the moment, and it's Paul Rouvet in third, head of John Bowler, who looks like 
he's going to eke another point out of John Bowler here. And it will be the pair of them separated by one point for third position at the moment as we go into the penultimate race of the weekend. But Bowler's not finished. He was having a look at Paul Rivette there. Still Steve Powell out front in his MAN. Luke Garrett in his MAN next up. It's been a super year of truck racing again. The Division 1 trucks have had some spectacular racing. Division 2, we've got the wider range of manufacturers represented have delivered superbly right the way through the season as well. So power still there. Steve with fastest laps. Set on lap two, so conditions not getting any quicker out there. John Bowler all over the back of Paul Rivet. These two have had a great rivalry all year, to be fair. Had a big coming together at Snetterton. John's truck looking a little bit second-hand as a result of that. But they all get back out. Graham Powell's got a problem. Is that the aftermath of a spin? Graham in 11th place. The field this weekend sees the uh, return of Craig Evans, which is good as well. Craig in the MAN TGA. Here come Rivette and Bowler. It looks like Paul's got a little bit of breathing space. Adam Bint up ahead of Brad Smith. Brad not looking as sharp as he has done in the previous rounds and, and lost a couple of points in race number one to Paul Rivette and John Bowler. Despite coming into this meeting in third position on 289 points, he was just five behind Steve Powell. And Steve with his qualifying and race one win, just underlining at the moment his potential for second place in the championship. This is a shot from Druids down at Graham Hill Bend. Again, we focus on the battle for third place. Now go back to fifth position. Binti and Brad. Brad Smith getting a better run, I think, out of Graham Hill Bend. Race leaders already through Surtees and McLaren heading to Clearways. Paul Rivette, first season of truck racing. Did a one-off before a couple of seasons ago. And uh, really has added to the mix. You know, whether you're looking at Division 1 or Division 2, there are class drivers in in both and, it, and it's not a hierarchical thing where better drivers are in division one that's not the case both divisions have a superb set of driving talent and, and the division between the divisions is, is largely I think down to budget rather than any ability and that, that's the uh, that is the truth of the statement so whether you're watching division one or division two you're guaranteed to be watching some top line drivers Luke Garrett trying to close in still but it's Steve Powell out front Powell leading Garrett second Paul Rivette still in third here is the third place scrap. John Bowler has not given up. He's challenging him. If we hadn't reached the time for this, I think the race probably might have been uh, checkered early because you can see certain parts of the circuit, the light is going. But it's going to be Steve Powell to make it a double this weekend. The local driver in the HGV direct truck takes the checkered flag. Steve Powell takes the win. Luke Garrett second. Paul Rivette third from John Bowler and Adam Bint. Brad Smith in six from Willem Friedike, Eric Forstrom, Craig Evans and Jim Bennett completing the top ten. Steve, another win, another fastest lap, not a bad day at the office today. I'm oh, good, really happy with that, yeah, I thought we was going to not struggle but you never know where you're going to be starting eight, so we knew we had the pace from testing, so um, I wanted to stay wet really tomorrow, but we'll see what happens. So. It's, uh, it's, it's been a difficult um, difficult day with the weather, but um, yeah, it's, it's, it's been really good and just managed to keep it on the track, so that, that's the main thing. A little bit of nostalgia for our viewers now. Matt, 20th anniversary, is that right? Yes, uh, it, obviously if he was racing this year, it would have been 20 years of his racing. Um, his uh, first went, race was uh, October, Pembury 99, and um, there's, there's been a, a lot of mileage between then and now, hasn't there? Long-term uh, financial backer with you as well, Keith Sims, lovely to see you here. Keith, what are you involved with now? I'm um, involved with Northside uh, Truck and Van, Mercedes-Benz. Uh, yeah, different flag, you know, so we'll, we'll see where this takes us. But we're, we're here this weekend promoting uh, the BTRA and truck racing and, uh, and see what uh, fortunes bring us. Any chance you can persuade this man to come back out on track? He'll take no convincing whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, any plans? Yeah, there's, uh, there's irons in the fire and uh, we'll, we'll definitely be doing something next year. Um, on what platform and how we do it and, uh, and to what level, that's yet to be decided. But, uh, but we, we, you'll, you'll definitely be seeing me and, uh, and hopefully I'll be talking into this microphone a bit more. Great to see Matt Summerfield here and already 
the excitement building for next season. But we've got this season to sort first. Here's the grid. Ray Coleman on pole position in the reverse grid race from Ricky Collett. John Newell and Stuart Oliver row two. Then Simon Reid, David Jenkins, Jamie Anderson and Ryan Smith wrapping up the top ten. We've also got Kay Sandberg and Franz Smith, Terry Gibbon, Mark Taylor and Mika Mackinen. Completing the grid here at Brands Hatch. Much better conditions for day two. And Richard Collett makes a decisive move around the outside of Ray Coleman. And it's Collett that leads into Paddock Hill Bend for the first time. Ray Coleman in second. In, in truck with Ray, I nearly said in car. You can see, although it is drier weather, much, much sunnier today, the track is still very damp. So driving is going to be difficult. Stuart Oliver third. Coming out of Druids. How none of these monsters have gone off the track at Paddock Hill Bend, where they're in close proximity, I don't know. And they do an equally good job around Druid, down into Graham Hill Bend for the first time. This is the second race of the weekend. Superb to see the likes of Terry Gibbon and Jamie Anderson with us. There is Collett leading. Stuart Oliver in third. Good to see Stuart back on the grid as well. And keep your eyes on Jamie Anderson, who's looking pretty sharp at the moment. There is the high ab digraph 69 of David Jenkins. Oh, and Collett's off, Ricky Collett gyrates at clearways. I said it was wet, so it leaves Ray Coleman in lead position. Stuart Oliver now challenging for the lead as they go into Paddock Hill Bend. The GT Kelsa truck taking a wider line here. He's going to be looking for the cutback. Coming out of Paddock, going downhill. Is he going to be able to get his nose on the inside line of... Ray Coleman, the lantern truck, holds on to the lead position and Stuart Oliver has to go round the outside line, but he goes wide and Jamie Anderson's through into second place. Anderson read that well, but fair play to Stuart Oliver for trying to get the lead. Anderson's looking round the outside line as they come down into Graham Hill Bend there side by side. Ray Coleman's seen him. That was great driving from Ray Coleman, giving room to Jamie Anderson, who's got the speed and he's got the lead. Through comes Stuart Oliver as well, looking to try and copy the move. And Ray Coleman here, this is clean, fair truck racing between Ray Coleman and Stuart Oliver. And they're still side by side. This is what the fans want to see. Oh, the back end of the number two truck. That is not the reward that was deserved for Ray Coleman here at France. Anderson out front. Such a shame we lost Ray Coleman because there was some great racing from Ray Coleman. Really good, fair, respectful stuff. Stuart Oliver in second. Great battle on for third. Now at the moment, if they finish the way they are, then Ryan Smith will secure the championship, but he'll still want to get past David Jenkins as we look at Nick Mackinnon in the Gagera Freight Liner. A welcome return to the championship. A couple of Dutch drivers in the mix as well this weekend. Here comes the battle for the lead though. And it's Jamie Anderson still there at the moment under big pressure from Stuart Oliver and David Jenkins under pressure from Ryan Smith who wants to take the championship ahead of his arch rival at the moment as I say on points 40 points ahead is Ryan Smith and if he finishes where he is he will secure the championship in this race two races early there is Fran Smith Case Sandberg and a recovering Ricky Collett in the 95 chart looking to try and get some, some more championship points to add to his tally. Track definitely drying out. It bodes well for the rest of the day here at Brands Hatch. But it's Jamie Anderson, the returnee, he's been racing in Europe this year, who's out front, and then a plethora of champions behind him, a trio of champions. And Ryan Smith has a look at the outside line, did as Jamie Anderson originally did on Ray Coleman, but Dave Jenkins. He's got enough pace to fend him off for the moment. They go along Cooper straight up in towards 30s. Jake's initially covering the, the left-hand side of the track. And I tell you what, Ryan Smith is going to have to work hard to get past, but he'll be doing the sums. He'll know exactly where he is points-wise. And it looks like he's going to be able to get a run here on David Jenkins. He's got the inside line. Jenkins leaves the gap. The race leaders are coming through side by side for third place. And on to the last lap, Ryan Smith, you can see Jenkins giving him room. But having said that, Ryan not quite close enough to be able to go through. And he's not going to want to risk a move. As we watch Richard Collett, who's recovered well into eighth place, challenging Mark Taylor, who, is caught, who of course is fourth in the championship. John Newell extending the advantage he has in third position in standings. So this race is going to be won by Jamie Anderson. Stuart Oliver behind him has got the fastest lap. Here is the battle for third. 
former champion ahead of reigning multiple champion and 2019 champion elect Ryan Smith. Back to the leaders. Jamie Anderson is still there. He's going to grab a Brands Hatch win by the look of it with Stuart Oliver right behind him. Great to see these boys racing with the MV Commercial BTRA Championship once again. It's going to be a win for Jamie Anderson. Anderson takes the flag. Stuart Oliver second. David Jenkins holding on for third. And Ryan Smith is this year's champion. Congratulations to him with fourth place ahead of John Newell and Terry Gibbon. Jamie, good to see you back here in the UK and congratulations on a fine win. Yeah, definitely. You know, uh, we made some good moves off the start and uh, some doors open that uh, don't always open. And then uh, Stuart sort of gave us a bit of pressure. We lost him a bit. He gave us a bit more pressure. So it was a good, entertaining race. You know, Jamie and me had a good, clean race and, uh, you know, there was no dramas. And I could see behind there was obviously Dave and Ryan were sort of, uh, they've got a, a score to settle on the championship. So they, they weren't going to be uh, giving in easy. So, you know, it was all right for the front. <laughs> I was just waiting for this man making a mistake. <laughs> Ryan Smith, the warmest of congratulations, four times champion, how does that feel? It feels uh, normal. <laughs> um, you know, it's a long season and it's hard for, especially with points system and the team don't get enough credit. I get all the credit because I jump in this truck, jump in that, but without my team, none of it's possible. And my sponsors, Taylor's Transport Party, Motorspears, Knorr Bremser and all the other sponsors that help us achieve to get here. Um, absolutely de delighted, glad it's finally over. We had a good point score, but you know in racing, anything can happen. So uh, we were a little bit cautious in that race not to tap anyone and make sure we finish the race. So, no, absolutely delighted. Congratulations again to Ryan Smith, the Division 1 champion. Our Division 2 champion, Luke Garrett, is on the outside of the front row with Steve Tow, Adam Vincent, John Bowler next up, Paul River and Simon Cole. Lots to tell you about championship points wise at the moment. Steve Powell is 12 points ahead of Paul Rivette for second place. So the battle about to get underway again. This is the third race of the weekend for Division 2. Track conditions getting better and better. This is ideal for the huge crowd that are here, not only for the trucks, but the massive firework display that happens at Brands Hatch. And it's Steve Powell that gets away. Luke Garrett next up. Then John Bowler in third place. Paul Rivette in the Taco Sis truck looking on the outside line. I tell you what, if anyone's capable of getting around the outside, it is Paul Rivetti side by side with Adam Bint at the moment for fourth place. Rib's going to have the inside line down into Graham Hill Bend. He's going to have a look at John Bowler as well. Remember, he's racing John Bowler for third place in the championship. Rib's third at the moment. John Bowler is fourth. Only one point separates them at the moment as we go in truck with Simon Cole. Super shot from Simon. Again, a local driver racing with the seemingly omnipresent team hard and there he is chasing Brad Smith Brad who was second in the championship coming into this meeting now finds himself down in fifth that's how close the battle is for second place in the championship although we're starting to get a clearer picture as Bowler and Rivette fighting over third oh there Steve Powell away and down the road at the moment with Luke Garrett in second position uh, look at Paul Rivette having a look at the inside line, having a real nibble at John Bowler there. He won't want to do anything silly because of retirement. Any mechanical failure as a result of contact will mean that he will potentially lose the race winning points. You're looking at it's essentially 10 points plus for being top five and finishing, but non finishers get nothing as Paul continues to chase. And a bit looking sharper in this one as well. That's always good to see the former champion, but it's Steve Powell out front. Luke Garrett, this is champion, successfully defended his title. John Bowler, who's been very quick all year in the DAF, still under pressure from Paul Rivette. Rib's going to maybe have a look here. You can see taking a slightly wider exit onto Clark Curve. Thought he might get a better run. He does get a good run. Now looks at the inside line on John Bowler as they come into Paddock Hill Bend. Or well, coming towards Paddock. There's barely room. They almost touch. I think they might have touched. And Paul Rivette gets third place. Cracking move by Rivette. And that was decisive for maintaining third position in the championship. Steve Powell out front though, Rivette goes through into third. So it's Steve Powell, the race leader, Luke Garrett next up, then Paul Rivette followed by John Bowler now in fourth place. And a bit next up, Graham Powell running well in this one as well, which is good to see. So around 
Druids, they go. 56 truck, the Dutchman, Villa Breedijk, up ahead of Jim Bennett. And now the battle on for second place as Paul Rivette has got the inside line on this year's champion side by side as they come through Clark Curve. Rivette's going to pick off another place here for sure. Side by side across the line. Rivette's going to look on the inside run going down into Paddock Hill Bend. Luke Garrett sees him there, gives him racing room again. Clean and fair truck racing and Paul Rivette up into second. His next target will be Steve Powell and Paul still mathematically has a chance of second position in the championship. 12 points between the pair of them coming into this race. There are 16 points available per race. So if Powell was to have a non-finish in the last race of the weekend, then Paul Rivette could still snatch second position. He's got the fastest lap in this one as well, set just before half distance. There is Eric Forstrom. Again, a very international flavour to this race meeting. Jim Bennett in the mix as well. They're always good to see him. And now Paul Rivette, evidence of that fastest lap. Who would have thought earlier on in the race that he would be snapping at the heels of Steve Powell? And this time he's looking at the outside run. Steve Powell on the inside. Paul Rivette goes to the outside line. He's going to go for the sweep into Paddock Hill Bend. He's having a look. Powell holding his line. This is smart driving from Steve Powell. May well have seen where Paul Rivette had the advantage on the other competitors. And now Riv's going to have a run as they come up towards the up towards Druids. He goes on the inside line. A little bit of damage evidence there on Rivette's truck, but he's got the lead. Paul Rivette. What a truck race. This is, well, never mind fastest off the front. Paul Rivette here very much treating this one like a reverse grid race and goes through into the lead and he's going to take two points at the moment out of Steve Powell the gap will come down to 10 so Rivette is going to take the battle for second position in the championship onto race four Rivette leads Steve Powell in second but Powell isn't finished yet and looks up the inside line Steve Powell's having a go to get the lead back this is classic division two truck racing classic truck racing period on board again with Steve Powell through Clark Curve. Magnificent view from these race trucks as we pick up with Simon Cole. Simon in the uh, top 10. Here's, here's Adam Bint now coming under pressure from Graham Powell. They're racing for fifth place. Graham having a good weekend. He's had uh, not a lot of luck this year when we've seen him, but this weekend challenging the former champion is Graham Powell. So good racing between the pair of them. Across the line they go. Bint's still there. But this, the last lap, Paul Rivette, the race leader in the Tacosis backed WDE Motorsport prepared machine, the MAN out front. Simon Cole still ahead of Eric Forstrom. As a long Cooper straight goes Paul Rivette. Steve Powell now has got several lengths to make up, but he won't do that now because look at the lead that Paul Rivette has got. A little bit of damage on the front from his hard charge through the field. So it's Paul Rivette who comes through clear. And he's off it. Paul Rivette's off into the gravel. Clearly some sort of failure. And Steve Powell is through. We didn't think that was possible. Steve Powell here is going to annex. Second position in the championship. Powell takes the win. Well, Paul Rivette actually will take the battle to the last race because Rivette still finishes second. Looked like some sort of problem for him. Luke Garrett took third, John Bowler next up, Adam Bint just beating Graham Powell, Powell finishing in sixth, then Brad Smith in seventh place, but it's another win for Steve Powell, a hat-trick this weekend for Powell, Rebecca second, Garrett, Bowler and Bint uh, in fourth and fifth, with Graham Powell in sixth. Play over the moon, yeah, didn't expect that well, he uh, just went into the gravel on the last bend, so we stayed with him, but uh, he was on fire, Paul, he was uh, all over us, and then stayed with him though, did stay with him, but I'll, I'll give up hope to be there. I'd give up a bit of hope and then to see that for what results. So happy days, three out of three, bring on the last one. Paul, can I grab a quick one with you? Yeah. Sorry, mate, what happened there? Uh, we've had uh, issues with the power steering at Pembury and we thought we had it all sorted. Um, you know, from testing, it's been good all weekend and the last corner, the steering just locked solid on me. Absolutely gutted to lose it on the last corner like that. But, uh, you know, at least we finished in front of uh, John Bowler for the uh, third in the championship. I really wanted to nick some points back on Steve in that one. <laughs> And we were really in the right place to do it, just so unfortunate with it.
Jamie Anderson on pole for this one. Ryan Smith confirmed as champion. He's outside row two. Stuart Oliver and David Jenkins. Simon Reed and John Newell on row three. Then Terry Gibbon and Richard Collin completing row four. Ray Coleman, Pete Zambergen, Frank Smith, Mark Taylor and Mika Mackinnon completing the grid for the third race of the weekend. The ultimate race of the Division One Championship and this one effectively the pressure off for most of the drivers now so they will enjoy racing in front of a, a huge crowd that's assembled here at France Hatch and away we go it is Jamie Anderson who will lead from pole position it looks like Ray Coleman on the inside line there along with Kay Sandberg and of Ricky Collett in truck with Ray Coleman great view of the race leaders heading up towards Druids a, a super view of the undulations here at Brands loving Ray's little fan inside the cab not really warm enough to need that today but it's Jamie Anderson that leads Ryan Smith is second from Stuart Oliver Terry Gibbon next up in the 37 superb field here not only individual if you put the clocks back three maybe four seasons then we had division one and division two all on truck at the, on track in trucks at the same time and such is the entry now in both classes we've got 13 division one trucks this weekend a full grid of division twos as well they have to be separated so hats off to the organizers for putting together a great show but this the view from the leader jamie anderson still there <coughs> ryan smith he would dearly love to bag another win and looks down the inside line smith goes for it side by side with anderson and Ryan Smith has got the race lead, having wrapped up the championship. Well, he's good under pressure, of course, Ryan Smith, but without pressure, goes through into the lead. Jamie Anderson's going to have a look back, though, and biting at the rear end. Side by side, they go now out of Druid, down Graham Hill. Stuart Oliver third, then Terry Gibbon. Dave Jenkins is next up. Maybe Jenkins working hard. There's still the issue of third place to be settled in the championship. John Newell and Mark Taylor separated by 16 points. So if uh, John finishes ahead of Mark in this one, he'll wrap up third position in the championship. David Jenkins snapping away at Terry Gibbon here. Keen to finish the season with at least a couple of podia, David Jenkins, but it's Ryan Smith out front at the moment. Nothing to separate really the top five trucks who have broken away, but are all pretty much lying astern at the moment. This race could go any way possible as Dave Jenkins starts to have a look at Terry Gibbon. Looks down the inside line, not quite close enough as it got to Paddock. But Jenks showing a racy poise there and certainly having a good look. Through Druids again. Still Ryan Smith out front as they come down in towards Graham Hill Ben once again. Stuart Oliver's looked sharp again this weekend in the Kelsa GT7 truck. Let's hope that we see Stuart back with us. The Volvo breaking up the... Uh, can't say it's an MAN monopoly because we've got the Iveco Stralis of Simon Reed, the Scania of Keith Sandberg and, and the Bigger Freight Liner that we saw earlier on of Mika Mackin in the mix as well. So the uh, a lot of drivers looking to try different things now and maybe break the dominance of the MAN and uh, watch this space for next year as potentially new trucks come into the mix. Frank Smith busy chasing Kay Sandberger, so the back of the two Belgian drivers, the Rainbow Warrior out front at the moment. Great to see our visitors as Terry Gibbon goes a little bit wide. David Jenkins is going to have a look up on the inside line here. There's half a gap for the high amp digraph truck and he goes through. Jenkins smelt a little bit of blood there and goes through into fourth position ahead of Terry Gibbon. So Terry Gibbon down into fifth position is Terry going to be able to fight back another driver who's been racing in Europe talking of the Europeans again coming to the outside line is Fran Smith working hard but Kay Sandberg has got the inside line and will hold on to that position for 10th place incidentally had a retirement of Mika Mackinnon so Sandberg and, and Schmidt oh now as uh, Schmidt finally gets a good run out of Graham Hill Bend goes through and takes 10th position as Ryan Smith goes across the line again Jamie Anderson still in behind Stuart Oliver in third now the top five were all together and Jamie Anderson's having a go here wide line for Anderson and he's on the outside line 
of the champion Ryan Smith there side by side but Jamie hasn't quite got the momentum to be able to go fast and Ryan Smith holds on to lead position on board with Anderson outside line coming down into Graham Hill Ben this is the move he put on Ray Coleman earlier on again good speed here from Ryan Smith who is he's slowing I think Ryan Smith is slowing and Anderson read that well saw the gap on the inside line goes through Ryan Smith down to third because Stuart Oliver's through as well and now Stuart Oliver is challenging for the lead. Now, is Jamie Anderson going to be able to pull away from the bonneted Volvo of Stuart Oliver in second position? Ryan Smith is down in third. I can only think it's a mechanical problem for Ryan. He seemed to slow at Graham Hill Bend. Look how much ground he's lost on these two. It's Jamie Anderson looking uh, good for another win here. Anderson leads, Stuart Oliver second. There is Mark Taylor, the second of the Taylor's trucks. Mark Taylor is in ninth place. John Newell is up into fourth. It means that John Newell, by my maths, will secure third place in the championship in this race. Mark Taylor, though, first full season of truck racing. He's had podiums. He's been a great lad to meet and chat to in the paddock. And he's going to finish fourth in his first full season of truck racing. He'll never forget his debut in monsoon conditions, flooded conditions at Pembrey last year. Anyway, here's Jamie Anderson. He's going to bag another win. I wonder if this will tempt him to come back and do the British Championship next year. Obviously, his focus is on Europe, but uh, the British Championship, we know, is very hard for different circuits to those that we race on in Europe. Stuart Oliver chasing hard, but it's going to be Jamie Anderson to take the win. Stuart Oliver, yet another podium for the evergreen Oliver in second, but Jamie Anderson takes the win. Anderson, Oliver, David Jenkins still in third place. There is Richard Collett running in eighth place. So Collett picking up some more championship points. Fastest lap of the race went to Ryan Smith. That was back on lap 10 before his problems. But it was Jamie Anderson who comes through. There's Richard Collett just taking the flag in eighth position. Up ahead of Mark Taylor. Frank Smith did get the better of Keith Sandberger. But Jamie Anderson making it a double here. A little bit of showboating from him and as ever, Ryan Smith at the end of the race to entertain the fans. Confirmation of the result, Anderson, Oliver and David Jenkins completing the podium. John Neal wraps up third in the championship with fourth, and Brian Smith and Ray Coleman. David, a little bit of a deja vu because uh, back on the podium again, and another good finish and more good points. Yeah, solid points again. Uh, just a shame Ryan's breakdown wasn't yesterday, not today. Uh, you know, we locked in then, didn't we? We, we? we were running fourth and that was where we were. We didn't quite have the balance dead right with the truck. I th though I think we probably did, and then I think I fried the front tyres trying to get past Terry in the early stages. Shame for Ryan breaking down, but good clean race and uh, good. Another one, uh, another one ticked off. The final Division 2 race of the 2019 MV Commercial British Truck Racing Association Championship. This one a reverse grid race again. Simon Cole on pole with Brand Smith alongside. Graham Powell and Adam Bint are next up. Remember the top eight finishers from the previous race are reversed. So Brad Smith looking to maybe get back into the mix for third position in the championship. Away they go to Paddock Hill Benz, the super start by Simon Cole. Need to keep their eyes, of course, on Steve Powell and Paul Rivette. It's still between them and John Bowler, to be fair, for second position in the championship. But it is Simon Cole that leads them with, in second position, Brad Smith. Brad's been a little bit off colour this weekend. Graham Powell in third's had a decent weekend. He's going to renew back with Adam Bin. John Bowler in the 14 truck is in fifth place up ahead. Steve Powell side by side with Paul Rivette. Remember, Powell effectively, with the impressive weekend he's had so far, needs to not finish this race, not to settle second position in the championship behind Luke Garrett. But Simon Cole's got some clear track ahead of him, which is good news. And the beast, the team hard. Truck now as a little mistake there, a moment for Brad Smith on the grass, recovers well. John Bowler's come through into third place, so John Bowler's got momentum from fifth on the grid, John Bowler. Coming into this race, four points behind Paul Rivette. So if he finishes five places ahead of Rivette, he'll grab third in the championship. It's another issue we've got to look at. But Bowler is now having a look, goes through side by side. John Bowler is on a march here, goes through, takes the lead. John Bowler leading. 
Fastest lap at the moment is with Luke Garrett, but John Bowler's got the lead. We need to keep our eyes on where Paul Rivette is. Rivette making progress, but at the moment, it looks like John Bowler could usurp him in the championship. Bowler from Cole, then Graham Powell, Brad Smith, Adam Bint next up. Steve Powell is ahead of Paul Rivette in this one at the moment still, so Powell will be doing enough to secure second position in the championship at the moment there. He's ahead of the this year's champion, Luke Garrett. Big sideways moment there for Graham Powell, who had such an impressive race. And look at that. That was the parting of the Red Seas behind because the trucks managed to avoid him. Masterly avoidance by everyone concerned there. And thankfully, no damage to Graham Powell's truck there. Could have been nasty. Here, though, is the view from Steve Powell. Steve up into second place, Luke Garrett in third, a little bit of smoke from Powell. Are we going to see the retirement that Paul Rivette wants? Where is Rivette on track? It's John Bowler, the race leader, Simon Cole in second, a big gap back to third. Cole's got some smoke coming out as well. Then Steve Powell with Luke Garrett. If that's terminal, Paul Rivette's right with him. Rivette here aiming for top four. I still don't think it would be enough as Simon Cole gets a big tank slapper on there. Look at the opposite lock that he puts on to try and control it, but it breaks away from him. Is there going to be damage? They all get through again. Simon Cole did his absolute best to hold on. He did at the first part of that. But on the last lap, John Bowler is streets ahead here. Bowler, six seconds clear of the field. Steve Powell now in second position. No problems for him. Powell takes second. John Bowler wins the race. Steve Powell second. Luke Garrett in third from Paul Rivette and Brad Smith. Adam Bint in sixth from Simon Cole. Eric Fultz from Graham Powell. And Craig Evans in tenth. John, congratulations. Your first Brands Hatch win, I think. How does that feel in front of such a massive crowd? Oh, it's cracking. The biggest crowds always come at the end of the year for the bonfire night, so we're all happy with that. We're obviously fighting for points uh, for third position in the British Championship, so we'll just see how we've gone after this race. Steve, we're getting near towards the end of the day. The lights are beginning to go, but the trucks have just lit the track up, haven't they, all weekend, and the fans have really enjoyed themselves. Yeah, it's been a fantastic weekend, hasn't it? We've got large grids. The championship really has got back to a good place in leaps and bounds this year, and the crowd behind us just shows, you know, they absolutely love British truck racing. Trucks and the standard of preparation from the teams and I must thank them all very much because it's very high, very high presentation. We've got pledges from our sponsors and partners for next year. We've got new competitors entering the series so I'm really looking forward to next year. It's, we're definitely on the up. Nice to hear from Steve Horn, the BTRA chairman. And it's Richard Collett on pole position for this partially reverse grid with Terry Gibbon alongside Ray Coleman and Ryan Smith row two from John Newell and David Jenkins, then Stuart Oliver and Jamie Anderson. Mark Taylor on row five with Franz Smith, Kay Sandberg and Mika Mackinen, and Simon Reid completing the grid. The last race of the MV Commercial 2019 British Truck Racing Association Championship about to get underway. They're being paced well. Super start, pacing wise, from Richard Collett and Terry Gibbon. We go racing. On board with Jamie Anderson, look at David Jenkins, lights up the track, flies around the outside line to make up a few places, and Jenks would love to go out with a win, he's on the outside line, but he's too far, was there a little bit of a tap there? From 23, Jamie Anderson, maybe a little bit of contact, rather than a deliberate tap. Terry Gibbon challenges for the lead, but it's Rick Collett who's got it. Inside line here from Ryan Smith, converts to the outside down Graham Hill, Jamie Anderson challenging on the inside line, Anderson hard on the brakes. David Jenkins is back on track. So super recovery job from Jenkins, but he's got a lot of work to do. Simon Reed's had a bit of a flyer as well off the start. On board with Jamie Anderson. Renewing battle with Ryan Smith. And Ryan wrapped up the championship in race two of four this weekend. Look at Anderson looking for grip on the outside line there. He knows that's where he's going to find it. And look at the momentum he's got here. Goes to the outside line, might find his way blocked by Terry Gibbon because Gibbon getting a little bit snaky and through on the inside line. I've got to say, Ryan Smith read that superbly. Full marks for Anderson going wide and finding the grip and trying to find the momentum. But, but his way was 
cavalry blocked by the 37 truck and contact there as Ryan Smith just gives a little tap on the back end as they go through. Smith up to second, Richard Collett the leader, Jamie Anderson double winner is there in third place. Terry Gibbon running well, then it's Ray Coleman and again wet weather prevailing, it's been a, a bookended weekend of uh, wet weather. Very tricky conditions in this final race of the year, the end of commercial British Truck Racing Association Championship. What a, a great season it's been, four titles on the bounce for Ryan Smith, he's in P2, Jamie Anderson over the back of him, Terry Gibbon next up, up into clearways, Anderson goes wide again, you've got to be so careful in these big trucks to do that because if you slide off there's very little chance of escape from the gravel and he's working hard and goes on the outside line and gets tagged by Ryan Smith there, so so close a little bit of paint trading between the pair. Ryan Smith does not want to give up P2. No pressure on either of these drivers other than to win the race. And Anderson into the back end of Ryan Smith who gyrates. He keeps it going though. Terry Gibbons going to go past. Well, it's going to be very interesting to hear the reaction to that after the race. Ray Coleman's on the outside line, but Ryan Smith has recovered superbly. How on earth? Do you get turned around like that and then come straight back? But Ryan Smith does that in the number one truck. And I think his focus is going to be on trying to close down on Jamie Anderson. It was very close racing. I'm sure there was no malice, but there was contact between the two. Breathtaking truck racing here once again in Division 1. So Anderson second. Ryan Smith, you can see, is fighting with every breath to try and close up again on Jamie Anderson. Through goes Mark Taylor, Simon Reed who's come through from row seven of the grid and has picked off all of those trucks behind him because he started last on the grid. Always quick in the wet is Simon Reid. I know it's a cliche, but the wet is a terrific leveller. It really is. And Simon Reid shows massive driving talent. There's David Jenkins recovering from his moment and there may well have been a little nudge to have sent him off because Jenkins normally wouldn't, wouldn't uh, be off the track. Richard Collett still leading though, Jamie Anderson second, Terry Gibbon third, then we've got the number one truck of multi-champion Ryan Smith looking to try and close in. Ryan telling me that he won't be racing in the British Championship next year. Whether that is going to be the case or not remains to be seen. It will be a poorer place without him, indeed without any of the drivers that are racing this year. They are all characters, they all add immensely to the mix that is the British Truck Racing Association Championship this year sponsored by MV Commercial and now Jamie Anderson again look at the wide line from Anderson trying to get momentum here he now dives back to the inside he's got that momentum again and for the lead on the inside passes Richard Collett Anderson could be heading for a brand tax treble here it'll be interesting we'll have to say provisionally because the clerk might have something to say about the contact when they see it but it's Jamie Anderson through into the race lead. Richard Collett in second, and the lead that Collett built up, again, testament to a great character in truck racing and a super driver, Richard Collett. There's Simon Reid, former Division Two champion, passes on the inside line, multi-British truck champion, Stuart Oliver. Great racing from those. Ryan Smith not losing Terry Gibbon at the moment. Gibbon running well. Ray Coleman next up. John Neal, third in the championship. There he is in the NWT machine. Simon Reid now clear ahead of the Kelsey 7. So Ryan Smith on for another podium here. Third position, Richard Collett second. Jamie Anderson first at the moment. Simon Reid has got the fastest lap of the race. Remember from row seven, you think that he'd just take it out of him or his tyres, but he's still battling on. And at the moment is in sixth position from 13th on the grid super drive from him terry gibbon trying to get on terms with the champion here's the view from ryan smith's truck and uh, he's not going to be able to close in i don't think on collett and anderson because they are away and down the road his target will be richard collett watch for the yellow hgv direct machine you can see it in the distance Jamie Anderson out front, Richard Collett second, here comes the third place truck, Ryan Smith is there, then Terry Gibbon, a little bit of a, a gap back, 
to Ray Coleman. And then it's Simon Reid, still setting fast laps is Simon Reid. Super drive from Reid, as I say, from the back of the field, and he just always seems to deliver in wet conditions. The fourth Division Two champion closing in on Ray Coleman. The Lantern truck is chased by the Reid truck sport machine. Simon the leading Don MAN in this race as well, the uh, BK Stralis. Here's the race leader though, Jamie Anderson. Out of Clark Curve, onto the Brandon straight. He is clear. This is uh, going to be three out of four for Jamie Anderson, who goes onto the last lap. Better not count our chickens. There is the Ad Croc himself, Mika Mackinnon, 13th place in the Figueroa Freightliner. Molly Jane's, of course, the driver that we're used to seeing racing in a Figueroa Freightliner and uh, certainly adding some variety to the mix as Mark Taylor goes across the line, fourth in the championship, he's in ninth place. David Jenkins will round out the top ten here and for Jenks after his uh, contact on lap number one, just bringing the, the truck home, but it's Jamie Anderson who leads. Looks clearer, doesn't it, from the onboard camera as he comes up into Clearways very shortly. This is McLaren coming into Clearways now for the last time. Richard Collett, very impressive second place again to finish the season on the podium for Richard Collett. It's going to be very satisfactory indeed. Taylor and Jenkins having a good old scrap as well here. This is for ninth place. Taylor gets a good run out of Graham Hill Bend. A good run down to the flag though for Jamie Anderson who takes the win. Three on the bouts for Jamie Anderson here at Brands Hatch. Richard Collett second. Ryan Smith will sign off the 2019 campaign with another podium. Third position for the champion, Simon Reid, is going to get the fastest lap on the last lap of the race as well. Here's the result, Anderson Collett and Smith, Terry Given fourth from Simon Reid and Ray Coleman. Stuart Oliver is seventh, then John Newell, Mark Taylor and David Jenkins wrapping up the top ten fastest lap on lap 13, the last lap for Simon Reid. Great way to finish the year in front of huge crowds. It's a massive spectacle, this meeting. You must be dead shot. Yeah, definitely. You know, what are the team and every one of our tie, uh, sponsors like PT Hire and Myla Dis on board have brought to us? You know, it's been brilliant to show them what we can do. And let's be honest, it's our second year in truck racing, any truck racing. You know, we're constantly going forwards and uh, people are starting to get worried a bit in some ways. Second half of the season has not gone too bad because you had that win at Snetterton. Podiums here again, so it's all starting to build again. We're getting some momentum. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we we, uh, we started with a new engine at the beginning of the year, which unfortunately didn't work out with a few mechanical gremlins. Uh, Snetterton is when we had the rebuild, and obviously it proved to be the right thing to do. And uh, we, we've been building on that all the way. It's good to look forward to next year, isn't it, on a podium at the last race of the year? Yeah, yeah. It's, it, We'll, we'll start as we, as we finish, hopefully. Because this championship is only growing and growing and growing. And there's some talented people. And behind the scenes, Steve Vaughan, the BTRA, MV Commercial, you know, everybody's working so hard. The drivers are all up in the game. You know, it's a sad day, really, in one, one aspect, because the decision's made that we're not going to be here next year. But, you know, let's never say never, eh? Because I have said it before, uh, and I thank each and every one for, for making my four, five years here absolutely amazing. Ryan Smith, champion by 46 points from the ever-consistent and fast David Jenkins. John Neal picks up third from Mark Taylor, Richard Collett and Ray Coleman in sixth. Division 2 champion Luke Garrett, 78 points clear of Steve Powell. Paul Rivette in third from John Bowler, Brad Smith and Eric Forstrom. The on-track fireworks are finished, but as you can see, 2019 MB Commercial British Truck Racing Association Championship finishes in spectacular style. It's a regular thing that we always enjoy and a great way to end the year. Congratulations to our two champions, Luke Garrett in Division 2, Ryan Smith in Division 1. Many, many thanks for your company this year and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.